The other day when I was coming home from the chapel, some boy in rich clothes nearly runs me over on his horse. He says something about me having a poor family. I guess he didn't realize we're half siblings to a knight. I'm honored that Zathan is a knight, and he's worked so hard to get his officer's position. It's too bad that it keeps him away from home so much. Yeah, I find myself missing him a lot. It gets quiet at the house, especially since his mother and father passed away. I hardly even remember them. At least we have Micah to look out for us. <laughs> He's not busy talking about the good old days. Hey, now. I wish I could have been a squire to Zathan's father. That must have been amazing. Aurelius was quite a man, according to Micah, anyway. It's kind of strange. It's like Micah knows more about Aurelius than Zathan does. Zathan only knew him until he was 14. Just imagine knowing your father was murdered. Ugh. Why do we always end up talking about Zathan's past? Surely there are more cheerful things to talk about. Why are we talking about this anyway? I just said that. Oh. I was thinking we should go to the play this afternoon. Really? It's a great idea. I love doing things with you. That's good. I mean, that's good. <laughs> because you're stuck with me. Oh. And Mike said to head home when we're finished. He'll follow along in a while. They say that Goromoth is on the move up north, burning shepherd villages. The captain's already speaking about an offense. Might be you, Zathan. Zathan? Who's this nice old fellow? This fellow is my servant. Oh, sorry, old man, but your master's busy. Zathan, may I talk with you for a moment, please? Now just what is so important that you find it necessary to disturb me? Zathan, I wanted to talk to you about your father. I told you not to. But please, listen to me. You feel that Guarmouth must be destroyed for killing your father and Rowan. Zathan, I was torn apart by their deaths, just as you were. Your father was my master, and Rowan was a dear friend. That's enough. Zathan, hear me. You have to forgive that man. I know it's not easy, but this fighting and revenge has completely consumed you. That's all easy for you to say, Micah. Aurelius wasn't your father. He was mine, and I swore revenge. I'll either have it or die trying. Zathan would want us to be brave. But we'll never see him again. We don't know that. Nathan says he was captured. What if they kill him? We can't let them. I don't even think he believed in God. Bill, just 
have to wait and pray. Just, just if he could have had one more chance to talk to me about the gospel before he dies. I know. Wait, Abby, we can go rescue him. Nathan, if Gormoth captured him, then he has to be at Dorthung Holt and the flood chamber. I know, which means we need to go now. Come on, if we hurry, we can leave tonight. Excuse me? Uh, but leave for where? We're going to Dorthung to rescue Zazen that wicked Gormoth. Sounds like an ambitious plan. What are you waiting for? You mean you'll let us go? I'd considered going myself, but one can't do such a thing alone. I had no idea who to take, but that appears to be solved. Woohoo! Oh, and one last thing. You can hurry all you want, but we'll leave in the morning. What? Oh, I melted my foot. Micah, about that foot. I brought an extra. Hopefully it won't squeak like the old one. <laughs> uh, just because I was manufactured many, let's not say how many years ago, for fear of shocking the present company, I'm still not old. <laughs> oh, forget it. Let's eat. make this any harder than it has to be. Give us all your valuables and we'll move right along. Oh no, you're sadly mistaken. We're not going to give you anything. I recommend that you just leave off or I'll use these rocks to give that recommendation some credibility. Wait, are we the bad guys or are they the bad guys? You're bringing this up again now? <laughs> But I think this matters for me to know. I mean, I... Then just stand there and wait. Now, boy, put down that rock or I'll recommend something for you. You see, I don't have any problems recommending. With steel! Put down that knife or I'll tear you limb from limb. No need for that. He already comes apart. What? Hey, give that back, fool. He's turning red. Oh, yeah. I think you're better to let him go. Fine, just go. Yeah. How in the world am I supposed to steal with you all acting like this? Hey, I think he wants a banana. Just stop it. You can have a banana when we're done. Yeah. Hey, hey, get out of here. Take my word, you scoundrels. You'll pay for this. We'll stop at that small town ahead. Oh, good. It'll be nice to see some neighborly faces. Couldn't we stay somewhere else tonight? 
I'm guessing this town doesn't have that many options. We need a table for supper and a room for the night. That's all well. Three, a mark apiece. Very good. That table in the near corner. Why are you here now? I have customers. Guaramoth won't wait. Assist us, or your place will burn to the ground. All right. I found out that Rowan is south of the hold. He has headquarters somewhere in the forest, right under Gormoth's nose. That's all. That's everything. That's all I know. I've heard nothing else. Micah, are you all right? I need, uh, well, we, we need to go. Do you need something? Soldiers, grab this thief. Hey, get your hands off me. I've done nothing wrong, and if you think I have, kindly take the time to tell me what. Explain again why this stranger is going to the gauge. Explain? Ha! It's been explained. You tried to pay me forge money. Just arrest him. Wait, this is very simple. Just let me weigh the money, and you'll see that it's not forged. Take him to the cage. How could you? Nathan! Hurry! Samantha just took Micah! Mm. What? When did it happen? Just now. I saw it in the courtyard. We're taking him to the prison. The innkeeper said he paid forged money. Forged? I saw the innkeeper weigh the money. He knows it's real. Come on, we've got to get him fast. Zathan is at risk. We can't waste time arguing with the crooked people in this town. Sorry, we have no time for delays. Dragons were here because some people say that they saw dinosaurs or dinosaur like objects which flew, and maybe they were flying dinosaurs, but maybe they were dragons. And then there's the whole discussion about whether or not there are things which actually breathe fire. This place is kind of creepy. I don't know. I think it would be fun if they existed. Ooh. What was that? What was what? That woo sound. <laughs> Micah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but I do mean to scare you. Excuse me, but I don't have no six fingers in your right hand. No fingers. You, thief, just stand there and look mean. Now, I seem to remember you. This time, you'll just give us the valuables now, or I don't think you're going to go. <sighs> so, my 
my deal. Fair enough? Just put away your bananas and crossbows. Abigail. We don't have anything for you. Abigail. And I, I think you're a bunch of very rude men. <sighs> rude or not rude, we came to do business. And as I'm very tired, I'd prefer if you would just cooperate so we can get this over with. Personally, I think it is rude because we never introduced ourselves. Thieves are bad men. They don't have good manners. So have bad manners. <laughs> Stop taking me literally. Okay, we're leaving and you're getting nothing. So take your comedy routine somewhere else. Not just yet. We have one more thing in mind. Grab the girl. Abby, no. Don't make a move. Come on, let's go Scotland Yard. They don't exist yet. Well then, the neighborhood watch. Too far away. I'll think of something. No time for thinking. Come on, we have to go after them. Right. Well, for once in my life, I'm glad somebody's a messy eater. Huh. You're not kidding. Doing those things, you're gonna put somebody's eye out. Ah! Ugh. Told you. Now shut up. You don't want to wake the boss. He needs his beauty sleep. Don't say anything. Hey, it's you again. What you want? If you give us the girl, then we'll give you this box and all its golden contents. Here is a grand product which is guaranteed to please the eye and fool the mind. There is no better product of this size, weight, and shine. Surely you cannot avoid falling in love with an item so worthy of foolery. No refunds after purchase. Item subject to change. Available only while supplies last. Let me see it. Gold. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Always a pleasure doing business with you. All righty, then. Yeah, right there. We could get some dining, mate. That might make a mess. Oh, yeah. Go get that crowbar. Let's get this thing open and press the boss. Won't he be surprised after we pry it apart? And... Yeah. That's impossible for the horses to cross. We might have to go on without them. But Abby, Zathan's more important than one little sacrifice on our parts. Besides, look, there's a bridge. It looks like it might be safe for us. Gail, it's all right.
Remember why we're doing this. Zaythan needs to hear the gospel before he goes. It's more important than our horses, our comfort, or even our lives. Abigail, listen. Your brother is wiser than you know. Christ commissioned us to spread the word, and that is a duty that stands above every other. But it's so hard, and Zaythan might have died already, and then all of this will be for nothing. Would you have us go back home on the chance that Zaythan might have died? <laughs> Micah? Yes? Would you, if I asked? Would you take Abigail back? <laughs> and leave you to face Guaramoth alone? That's foolishness. But we have no idea how long this will take. It's already been two weeks since we left. And Abigail's right. This is hard. You think it's right to force her to stay? If you recall, Zathan gave me full responsibility for you after your parents died, which means the only right thing is to take care of you both. She's safer with us. What if she leaves anyway? She wouldn't do that. Micah, for Abigail's sake, take her back and let me go by myself. And leave you to face Gormoth alone? I'll I face him alone. I wouldn't do that. Zathan's soul is worth it. But what about my responsibility for you two? <gasps> I don't know. Nathan, look, I only have one choice. I made a promise to protect both of you, and we have to stay in a group. Either we go on together, or we go back together. I'm sorry, Zathan. His eternity is worth all of this. We started this together, and I won't get in the way of finishing it that way. I'll turn the horses loose. Can you carry our bags? You have a way across. Good eye, Abigail. Now let's finish this. By my calculations, we should be heading about 13 degrees more to the west. Well, that's pretty innovative. What? <laughs> oh, the concept of using a compass with an upside-down map. I would have never thought of it myself. Ah, that would help. I'm just going to count on the fact that this road is the one that leads to Dorthung. I'm sure this will get us there. Look, is that it? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a good way to get us there. Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to trespass. What do you think you're doing here? Well, since you're so kind to ask, we're actually planning to build some trebuchets, knock down Dorthung, free all the prisoners, and make Gormoth wish he'd never been put together. Nathan here got a little distracted, hanging upside down out of a tree, entertaining us while we've been waiting. Ow. Well, I suppose if you aren't friendly with Gormoth, then I can tolerate you. Why don't you come to my hut where we can discuss this visiting business a little more thoroughly? And let's say that's not an invitation. Since we homeschool, we get done the school early. We catch castle guards for fun. Father talks to them blindfolded, and then we lead them back to the castle at night. After Mother, that, guess we turn what them we loose, caught. then run into the woods. It's really There's one time we catched a big thing in the woods. I like it. Them. had a 12-inch like spread and 10 feet. points, a black hide and purple hooves. Don't you think you're exaggerating a little bit? How could you know? Whenever we go to town, one. Father always makes us take our weapons. <gasps> Rowan? It's not possible. For all these years, I thought you were dead. What are you talking about? You were there all those years ago when Aurelius was killed. You saw it happen. Wait, I saw what? Well, don't you remember? Aurelius, your fellow officer, nearly 18 years ago, 
You were there when he disappeared. What? We all thought you'd both been killed. Aurelius, you know him? I was his squire, and you, you're Rowan. I don't believe my eyes. Micah, <laughs> Rowan. This is unbelievable. It's you, I can't After all these years, it. how did you ever survive? Me? Well, apparently I wasn't killed that night, just knocked out or something. Anyway, I stayed on with Zathan. But you, your family, you have like a thousand kids. Well, we've taken in some orphans and had some more. They all add up. Amazing. Ah, you always were such a man. Well, thank you. Nathan, Abigail, I would like you to meet a long lost friend, an honorable man and the greatest companion of Zathan's father, Aurelius. This is Rowan Mowbray water channel running through here for flooding the prison. It goes straight back. Someone will have to swim it, free the prisoner, then get out. Nathan, can you swim the lake? Sorry. Uh, Nathan? Don't worry, Nathan, Micah. I'll swim the moat. I like swimming, and besides, I want to help. Why shouldn't Nathan? Well, I just... All right. You'll have to tell me what this is about. I... I was there, Micah, when the flood came and Mother was across the river. I was too small to go after her. Father came, when he could, and went over to get her. He made it across, but they never made it back. I haven't told you because I didn't want to think about it. He's been terrified of water ever since. It's fine, Micah. I should swim it. <laughs> I need to. No, I can do it. No, I will swim that moat. All right. The next change will be at six in the morning, right at dawn, so it'll be dark enough for Nathan. You must be stealthy enough to avoid detection by the guards, or the plan is a failure. I can smell you. I, I don't smell that bad. I just took a bath last week. Do me a favor. Take me to your commander. I insist. I am sure a magical minstrel would not be denied his presence. Say, little fella, uh, how'd you get here? I'd tell you. But then I would have to kill you. Do you think we should take him to Guarama? Bad idea. He'll still be in bed. He'll get grumpy if we wake him up, and he won't have brushed his teeth, which means he'll have morning breath. Harry Moth? Yeah, the grumpy guy. Say, get yourself in line there. Come on, soldier. This ain't a Barbie doll farm. <laughs> <laughs> Please, chop off my head and be quick about it. Whoa, it me Guarmoth learns what I have said. Of course, I guess if you did chop off my head, I could always get another one. <laughs> You know that good things shouldn't be kept secret. Come, wouldn't your comrades like to see the Reconstructable Man? <laughs> You're right. We ought to show the others. <gasps> Help me, God. So the lady 
says, how do you gore a moth? I'm saying no, guar moth, but she can't get it. <laughs> a ballad then, to liven the mood. Take a seat and hear my tale about this silly man. He set out to kill a man, but it was all a bill. If it weren't for his fearless squire, the knight would soon have lost. Oh, the knight would soon have lost. They both stopped up at an ancient inn to kill a giant there. The good old knight and his silly man both did their very best. But killing sheep was not in line. They did not pass the test. Are you here to rescue us? I'm trying. Do you know if there's a man named Zathan here? Yes. Last cell on this side. We've been in here for years. Hey, what's that? There's someone here. Hey, can you help us, please, lad? Zathan. Get your trash away. I told you I'm not hungry. Zathan, I... I didn't bring any food. Nathan? How did you get here? What are you doing? Shh. You want me to get captured? No. Wait. You need to get out of here now. Haven't you seen how heavily this place is being guarded? Not really. Apparently, Micah's doing his job. Micah's well. here? I haven't seen a single guard. How in the world? Look, I've got to get you out. We'll talk later. Huh. Good luck. This is the strongest cell of them all. And besides, I'm chained to the wall. That's impossible. Mm, okay. Ooh. Hey. You okay? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong? Uh, a double case of heat stroke and overexertion. Well, what can we do? I need to go somewhere cool and dark. Would you stop and listen to me? We can't raid the armory. It's too loud, too dangerous, and there aren't enough of us to fight our way out. We all have to leave the same way I came. But first, we have to wait for the man who's responsible for getting me down here. We came up with a plan, but you'll have to help me carry it through. Dungeon's cool and dark. Come on, boys. Let's hurry. I've seen Weiss. Surprisingly, he seems rather well. Poor fellow. <laughs> Easily fooled. First, Nathan, I'll bring up the rear. I'm here, and it's appropriate to respect the elderly, which means you first. Now you hold on. Let's not hold on. Let's go.
and secure? Mm, yes, I think he is. A and Nathan? Nathan. Nathan, get up. What? What happened? Did I miss anything? Okay. He's fine. Go! Now! Huh. With you! Care to talk? No. Well, it did only save your life, you know. Huh. I don't get it. I thought Father was weak after he became a Christian. And then Guaramoth murdered him. I thought all Christians were weak, just using God as a crutch. But you, Micah, Abigail, all that way to get me. I worked every day of my life after Father died. To get stronger. To learn more. To get revenge. I failed. But you didn't. You rescued me. How? How did you do it? You'd never believe us if we told you. Try me. Who helped you? What did you do? Zathan, by ourselves, we're only two young people and an old man. But with God, the things we could never do on our own become possible. I could surely use a new power. 
All my causes and pursuits lead to nothing. That's hardly the point. Everything you ever do in your own power is a dead end. Frankly, it's because you're a sinful, wretched man who has horrible ideas. Oh, well, thank you for the grand encouragement. Ah, the truth is not always pleasant, but it is always true. Ah, Zathan, you've sinned, and apart from the grace of God, you will only ever be a broken man chasing lost causes to their dead ends. Put your faith in the cross, and believe in the only one who can pay for your dark deeds. Well, I'm glad that's worked out so well for you. It's not about what works. It's about what's true. Nathan, thank you. I will not dismiss what you've said. We love you, Zathan. <laughs> I know, Mike, I know, I had to agree. It was pretty amazing. Excuse me, Abigail, while I get something for you. Zazen! Oh, look at you! So cute! And so... Oh, look at your eyes, you're so adorable! Oh, you're so cute, Zazen, I love him! I don't know what to say. He's so beautiful, and he has such a square bill. Hey, good boy. Micah, you've been with my family for many years. You served my father when I was a boy, and now you've taken on the responsibility of Nathan and Abigail. Tell me how I can thank you. I don't need anything, Zathan. I've been honored to serve your family all this time. Nathan, come here. Kneel before me. Raise your head. Nathan, I give this, my father's sword, to you. You need to know something this journey has taught me. Swords are for saving lives, not taking them. This sword is to be wielded by the defenders of this home, and none other. For only such a purpose will it leave this place. Just give up if he could. Just 
down your twisted path. Look up, look beyond your past. He'll break all your chains. He'll take all your shame. He's calling your name. 